Come on, Collar. Come to me, Collar. Come to me, Collar. Yes! He's there! We've got him! Hold on, how do I use this yoke? How do I use this yoke? How do I use this yoke? It won't work. How do I use it? Whoa! It's the king! Oh, that's nice. Color! Boom! What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at Yan the Man, Killer Collar, King Collar. This guy is my favorite player to use. Look, I know I get a bit excited with him, but he's just a battering ram, man. He's just such a fun player to use. And that's what the game is all about for me at the moment, right? There's not really much to play for in terms of rewards. Uh, so I do try to have as much fun as possible playing with different types of players. And Collar is a bit of a cult hero at the club. If you know how to play with him and if you are willing to play to his strengths, he is an absolute monster that I've seen a lot of people struggle with. I mean, we're playing in Division 1 at the moment. And it's very rare that you come up against somebody like Collar. And it's very rare that you come up against a target man. So when you put the two of those together... It's a very unique challenge for somebody that's not used to playing non-meta, right? Now, when I say non-meta, usually people will play with Mbappe, Maradona, Neymar, whatever. But when you've got a guy like this with the player skills he has, acrobatic finishing, first time shot, and of course he's got heading and aerial superiority, we've knocked on as well or tacked on long range shooting and captaincy to collar because he is the main man at the club. But this is his base stats with 10 Hag, right? So we're going to get that boost to speed. We're also going to have the plus two with the manager, playstyle proficiency. When they fix that, I have a video coming on that as well. Because at the moment, these stats are not translating. You're not getting that manager boost in game. So we did train Collar up straight away when we signed him in our live stream. And obviously, this is what I consider to be the best build. I have played probably... I would say, right, I've probably played more with Collar than any other content creator has done. So when I say that try this build, this guy is an absolute monster, right? You are going to give up a little bit of dribbling with him. He's not the fastest, he's not mobile, but we are going to essentially go 502, 5 or else we're going to go 502, 12 5 8 0 5 and then decide right what we're going to do you can pause that video rewind it i'll have it up on the screen as well to build here when we're doing it but this is essentially what you're going to be looking for with him you're going to get that attacking awareness to 95 finishing at 90 jumping at 90 physical contact and heading at 101 and then the speed and the acceleration once they're around 70 there that's fine now if you decide that you want to have a little bit more dribbling you can pop those into dribbling if you want to have one more into dexterity to get that acceleration and attack and awareness up you can do that as well because what you want with collar is the minute that you turn uh the ball over or the minute that you go on the break you want to have collar bombing forward now you can use counter target on him um which we do in our individual instructions i'll show you that in my game plan in a second but essentially this is the best build I have found for Collar. He goes to a 99 overall with all the boosts from a 94 overall card. And you're going to have 90 finishing, 90 kicking power, 90 jumping, and 101 physical contact and finishing with 95 attacking awareness. So for the lack of mobility and versatility and speed and pace up front, you're going to have a very unique player. One of the most unique players to use. And I genuinely think he is probably... He's not meta, I mean, but he is one of the best players that I've used. And you're going to see clip after clip here, lads. It's not just aerial ability with him. He's got one of the best turns in the game with his AI and with his animations. Left foot finish there to complete the perfect hat trick you are going to see here as we celebrate. We celebrate we're toxic enough with, to with Collar, to be honest with you, because we like to get a lot of clips. We're going to see a right foot finish there with him as well for the second goal. That's going to be a left foot and a right foot. And you know what's coming to finish off the perfect hat trick. Left foot, right foot and in the air with a head. Lovely movement again from Collar. I'm not really doing much there. We take the shot. That could have been a lovely finish. But we do recycle the ball with Ribery. Absolutely skin James. And then finish with the simple head and finish. Right? So, as I said, right? If you are playing Collar, you need to be able to exploit this area that's highlighted. Right? You could play an SS with him. I usually play Messi with him if you want to be able to shoot with Messi. But I do leave counter target on Collar here. And we could also leave counter target on our passing. Our lofted passing. Uh, right winger or left winger so in this case i'm going to use foden because he does have pinpoint cross and weighted pass low lofted and true passing and he also has double touch and a bit of power and pace and speed to be able to get up and down the flank but you have to li listen lads he's not going to be mbappe up front or rafael leao 
you know what you're getting with Collar. He's a one-man army battering ram that you're going to use for target man uh, kind of chances, right? Yes, he can finish chances. You've got 90 finish in here. We've just sped this up a little bit. You've got the penalties. You've got all of that sort of stuff that you're going to be using with your normal uh, center forwards, right? But it's more about the chances that you're going to create with him. Now, he will miss chances. Trust me, he will miss chances because he's not as clunky uh, or he is more clunky than a lot of the versatile players. That just goes without saying, right? But I genuinely do think he is one of the most fun players to use. If you're a little bit bored with the game and you do happen to spin him or even if you have an older version of him, this guy is just an absolute monster. Watch how he breaks here with the counter target on and his AI. He just darts. He holds the line brilliantly. Lovely position right here. Look at that for positioning and a simple little finish. And this was against a Division 1 opponent that was very, very good at the game. Quite sweaty. I think he was like 1,500 in the world or something on our road to glory um, with Collar or our road to adventure. And yes, I am wearing a suit in this video, lads, in the live stream. So check that live stream out if you want to see the full one. But yeah, I mean, I just think Collar, lads, at this stage, you'll see the training guide here. I think Collar is one of my, probably my favorite player, right? He's he's a maverick type of player, lads. He'll either work for you or he won't. You'll either love him or hate him, but he does offer something unique. And uh, I genuinely think that it's one of the best cards that they've added for a bit of crack with the game and for a bit of fun. Um, so if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. I will be back with some more daily content and uh, we will see you then. Peace.